What up, YouTube? As you can see, I'm gearing up for the NBA season. Can you can you people just believe that we are just like a week away, or maybe two weeks away from NBA preseason and training camp? Can you can you just believe that, man? Um, I'm just putting, I'm just excited, man. Um, that's why, that's why I keep talking about NBA topics because I'm getting very excited because we're really close to NBA time. In this video, I just want to talk about the San Antonio Spurs, and um, what do I expect out of San Antonio uh, moving forward? Um, last time we saw the San Antonio Spurs, they was losing that game seven to the Miami Heat. Um, you know, the Heat went on to be the two-time NBA champions. I don't agree with it, but um, I just feel like the Spurs got robbed um, in Game Six. You know what I'm saying? LeBron James was flopping all over the place. Um, you know, um, I just feel like they got robbed. And what a turn for the worst when Ray Allen hit that shot at, at the, to um, to seal that victory. Uh, the Spurs had the, the championship won. How can you mentally prepare yourself for a season and you know you was that close to an NBA championship? They had it. They tasted it. The champagne was in the fall. The glory. Tim Duncan was about to be five-time NBA champion. But Ray Allen knocked down at three. Um, you know what I'm saying? LeBron James went on to win his second NBA championship. Um, but anyway, um, you know that Greg Popovich is not going to sweat this. Um, go moving forward. I expect the Spurs to have a productive season. Um, Tim Duncan will be a year older. Um, Tony Parker will be um, better than ever. The question that concerns me is Mano Ginobili. You saw how Mano Ginobili stunk it up in the NBA Finals. Uh, Mano Ginobili was not himself. Um, Danny Green and Kawhi Leonard stepped up big time in the NBA Finals. Um, Greg Popovich is one of the well-known coaches in the league. Um, he should have Tim Duncan them ready for training camp. Tony Parker, Manny Ginobili, the whole team. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the roster of the San Antonio Spurs. Um, we're bringing back, um, Aaron, I don't know his name, Marco Bellinari, Matt Bonner, the three-point knockout shooter. Nandy Dodico. I don't know his name. Maybe he got trapped. Boys D all came on strong. You got the best power forward in the game with Tim Duncan. Uh Manu Ginobili, Danny Green, um, Corey Joseph, Kawhi Leonard, Patty Mills, Tony Parker, and Tiago Splitting, Jeff Per I can't pronounce anything. But um I do expect the San Antonio Spurs to return to championship form. Now, in the Wild Wild Western Conference, um, you know it's gonna be hard, you know, because you know the Clippers are stacked. And they bring in Doc Rivers. Um, you look at a team like Oklahoma City. You know that that we burnt the Russell Westbrook after that injury. Kevin Durant gonna have some to prove. You gotta go with bang with the boys in Memphis. Um, you still can't write out Kobe Bryant. Um, some people writing them out, but um, Kobe Bryant gonna be right there. Um, when in playoff time, you got to look at the Houston Rockets with Dwight Howard and James Harden and Jerry, Jeremy Lin and uh, Chandler Parsons and Kevin McHale. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at teams like that in the Western Conference. Um, the, the thing is, do they have the mental aspect to return to the NBA Finals? Um, you know, teams been working on their game over the summer, and I just think that the Spurs, um, they might be in a bit of trouble as far as getting back to that championship level. But if anybody can do it, anybody can get the troops ready, it's Greg Popovich. Because Greg Popovich is the mastermind, the best, like one of the best coaches in the league. And um, I just think that the sky's the limit for the Spurs. Um, I do expect to get production from Tim Duncan. I don't know how much he's aging. Um, I don't know how much he's going to give you, but I expect Tim Duncan to be Tim Duncan. I expect Tony the Parker to play like an MVP. Uh, the question is, Mario Ginobili, can he stay healthy throughout an 82-game season? And what can he give you? 
because you know my nobly didn't show up in the NBA Finals. So um, what kind of production will Miles Nobly give you? Know Kawhi Leonard becoming one of the good, great, a great player in his league. Um, Danny Green stepped up last year in the NBA Finals, but they just came up short. You know, just take your time, take a deep breath. Get ready for training camp. Get ready for preseason. Get ready for the regular season, um, which starts on October 29th. Um, I'm just breaking it down. Like I said, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just in the full NBA mode. Like I said, we're just like a month away from training camp. Um, I'm getting ready to get behind my Los Angeles Lakers. But I like talking about other teams and what they need, you know. Uh, big NBA fan, I always have been. I always will be a big NBA fan, um, just a big diehard Lakers fan. But I like talk, like I said, I just like talking about basketball. And I'm so happy that we almost back to basketball, you know. And, um, you know, just look out for a Wild Wild Western Conference. Um, I'm going to be making my season predictions next month, um, getting wrapped up in these preseason games. Um, um, just studying the game, just looking for I'm going to be like watching a lot of NBA preseason. Then I'm going to get ready for the regular season on October 29th. Um, then, you know, I'm going to be putting out some my prediction videos of who I think will win the title or do I think Miami going to repeat or who I'm looking for to be the MVP of the league. Um, just stay tuned because we like you. we just like one week away. Going Maybe one month. I don't know. I'm just excited. We that close to the return of NBA basketball. And don't forget, David Stern will step down as commissioner of the league this winter. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more NBA talk. I will be back in peace.